must view the substantial investment in railway as a worthy investment to underpin the regional economic agenda. An economy only ever thrives on the foundation of proper infrastructure. We are on the home stretch. The finishing line is within sight. The pace has been steady and the team dedicated. It has been just 16 months since 12th December 2014 when we set out to build a single line SGR track connecting Mombasa to Nairobi, build main freight exchange and passenger stations, build marshalling yards at the port of Mombasa and Nairobi hub. Fence the truck, procure locomotives and rolling stock and ensure installing of critical facilities in order to have a fully functioning railway network as envisioned in the Vision 2030 blueprint. It will be a landmark project, I can assure you, that China Road and Bridge Corporation will complete the project on time and by high standard. Fast forward to May 2017 and 609 kilometers of track has been laid, tested and found to be to the expected standard. Magnificent features such as the 79 bridges have been erected, 33 stations which include main, intermediate and passing stations have been constructed, signaling and communication facilities installed and the corridor has been fenced ready for operations. Locomotive and rolling stock manufacturers in China were meticulously engaged to ensure both quality and timely deliveries. The locomotives and rolling stock to be used for transportation on the line have since been imported, tested and the verdict is they are good to go. The design review and construction supervision team have also been up to the task and through continuous checks, inspections and test runs, they have given the assurance that the contractor has delivered a railway line that meets the intended standards. The installed ICT will be thoroughly scrutinized and tested along the whole route by the Chinese Academy of Railway Sciences CARS, which is a critical and crucial aspect in the operationalization of the SGR. It's the equivalent of um, the Institute of Engineers of Kenya or even uh, the Engineers Board of Kenya, because they will double check the work we have done and ensure that uh, the railway we have done meets also the standards of the operations. We will collect a huge amount of data during our inspection and testing and also we will include uh, most of this data in our testing report. You know, we will submit this testing report to the owner, to Kenya, and uh, you can refer to this data maybe for your future maintenance and repair programs or any improvement or optim optimization program. How about the manpower? This has been successfully addressed too. Local manpower has been created through on-job training and especially the local training program in progress at the Railway Training Institute. To date, approximately 500 Kenyan students have undertaken training in various disciplines all tailored to address the need for skilled personnel to work on the line. Already, they have been posted on the project ready to serve the nation come May 31st, 2017. Uh, right now I'm going through a training as a locomotive driver and uh, we usually drive from Nairobi to Mombasa. First I went through a training as a locomotive technician and that was offered at Railway Training Institute. 60 Kenyan students are undertaking a civil engineering course at Beijing's Zhetong University. The course entails specialization in railway construction, maintenance and management. It's good that we are here. Uh, in that degree I'm learning it's railway signaling and traffic control. In order to keep pace with the rapid developments on the project, Kenya Railways engaged a transaction advisor who was charged with the task of reviewing the operational plan as provided in the Mombasa Nairobi SGR feasibility study report, understanding KR operational expectations, proposing ways of optimizing the coexistence of the MGR and SGR 
during operation stage and managing the process of procuring an experienced operator to operate the Mombasa to Nairobi SGR upon completion. As a result, the process of procuring the engineering procurement and construction contractor to undertake operations on the SGR service has been concluded. Preparations for the official launch are at full throttle. Everything is being set and everyone is getting ready as Kenya is set to unveil the SGR line. Beginning May 31st, 2017, the new way to travel for the Kenyan traveler and for freight transporters, a faster and reliable service to transport freight will begin operations. So come the date that we have undertaken to make the project ready, we should be ready to run the first train. And uh, this then will be the time that the operator will commence, he will take over and then commence what we call trial operations. So after the trial period is over and after we have confirmed that everything is in place, then we will move to commercial phase uh, beginning December or January 2018. The standard gate railway is set to transform Kenya's transportation scene. High speeds and shorter transit times between locations along the Northern Corridor are set to be the hallmark of the new service. Passengers are set to enjoy a comfortable and safe travel experience, whereas freight service consumers will benefit from enhanced haulage capacity that will translate to increased trade volumes in the long run. Mombasa port will sigh with relief as cargo is evacuated faster and businesses will have a reliable and efficient way to transport their cargo. Currently we have about uh, a million containers coming through every year to Mombasa. Now it has reached the limit and so it was important to do this railway which will then be taking most of the cargo, especially the freight from Mombasa to Nairobi and also make sure that the speed is accurately enhanced. So it will speed up development in our region, and in particular our country. The trails runs are giving encouraging results as engineers traveled from Nairobi to Mombasa with four hours, 20 minutes, and back to Nairobi within four hours, 15 minutes, which is well within the planned duration of four and a half to five hours for the Mombasa-Nairobi paired intercity trains. We are on the home stretch, readying ourselves to take over the SGR operations. Given the level of dedication and diligence put in by the Standard Gate Railway project team and other partners, delivery within the set timeline is surely guaranteed. The speed at which it has been executed, the quality of works that have been undertaken would not have been possible if the Kenyans who have worked on the project, over 20,000 of them, and the 3,000 Chinese workers who came around to make it possible had not volunteered the way they have, they have they've done. The singleness of purpose with which they undertook various roles in the construction process remains something that uh, we should be very, very proud of. And the Standard Gate Railway project is not just being delivered on time, it shall be to the highest standards. Therefore, as phase one of the Standard Gauge Railway project starts to wind up, the expectations and hopes of the Kenyan public have never been higher. And because of the commitment shown by all the parties involved in the project, we couldn't be more prepared to meet those expectations. We are truly on the home stretch. See you in June 2017.